I don't know. Yeah, yeah they had even potholes. I, I want were, my money back. They were just exploding. <laughs> We go on from the Marvel game. Hmm. It basically the... halves. Well, literally. Oh, yeah. It eliminates it. The... literally. No, no, no. It, well. That one character that I know that's oh, the, the shit that's out true. of me. The woman that didn't play. That lady has the most. I don't know. Did you watch it in Korean? Or, yeah. yeah like or with dub? The sub, with subtitles. Yeah. Okay. In dub and in Korean, both of the voices of the of, the, of that girl are annoying as hell. <laughs> like, I mean, she's a, the character is annoying, but the voice. You watched all, it twice? No, no, no. I made the mistake because people were some people were suggesting to watch it on your on your native language because they would change some of the wording to fit the games. Ah, just, nah, screw that. It, I like it was I like the original <laughs> language. Yes, it's, it's, I that's, agree. Again, that's what's cool. Like. Yeah, no, the I, acting is way better in Korean. I, I just think it's cool, like, you know, to listen to the little songs of, like, whatever, of the children's game in yeah, Korean. In the original. Like, that's what's cool about the show. I agree. It was a mistake that I regret. kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that and trip. the dub misses a lot of the details that they give you on the written version. Mm-hmm. So I was like, nah. Like I'm done with listening I'm just to the dub. Sub it, yeah. Sub yeah it. Just sub it and originals. I feel like a lot of people like dub it out. Uh, like when you're not used, to, like I'm used to because I grew up in in Mexico. I'm used to reading subtitles. Yeah, because I grew up watching, you know, like m- movies in English. So t- to me, like I'm completely okay watching subtitles. So whenever I watch, like whatever, you know, Russian, Japanese, or whatever. Same. Obviously, I don't speak those languages, unfortunately, but I have no. Pro- I always watch it with subtitles. Like yes. I have no problem. I like. I enjoy it. The only show that I'll accept that has the best dubbing in the world of dubs. Shrek, Dragon Ball. Oh, oh dra- Dragon yeah, dra- Ball has yeah, one of the tr- best Spanish dubs. Yeah, that's true. I Dragon like stuff that I watched as a kid mm-hmm. that was dubbed. Even now, it's an adult. I still watch it dubbed because I'm used to it. Like, you know, Dragon Ball, like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, pretty much like any cartoons or like, for example, like Shrek mm. or, or Toy Story. Like those ones, those movies that I watched when I was like 8, 9, 10, 11, whatever. Like during 31. Those times, yeah, 31, whatever. No problem. I It's, it's almost like. I ha- that's like the it, only way that's it the throws only way. you off yeah. right if you see when it. I, when I listen when I yeah if it when I hear the original voice like for example in, in I Shrek dare, yeah. when I hear Eddie Murphy instead of you're like that's not Shrek Eugenio oh, Derbez no, I'm no, like the donkey, no. no the donkey no the donkey the donkey yeah yeah I'm, yeah, yeah but I'm like w- w- this it, it throws me off I'm just yeah. used to like the Mexican the the versions. Mexican donkey yeah, yeah basically the donkey should have been Mexican yeah, yeah totally <laughs> yeah no no there there's a few that yeah you you were like the dub is worth it like those are really good examples of mm-hmm. of good dubbing this one definitely if you're this well hopefully you're not just listening to this tip but if if you're gonna watch Squid Games uh, or if you watch the dub I would highly recommend watching it original with subs because it definitely the actors are good uh, on the on the show and, and it, it def- definitely. The comedy is different too. It works out different for some reason. Like on the dub, they mm-hmm. made the the guy, the main guy, just I don't know, just weird. Like it, I don't know. Give look yeah, at the I'm first curious episode. now. I'm curious. I'm gonna yeah. watch it dubbed now. Yeah, just to you, you like may it. regret it after the first episode, but yeah, I'm curious. <laughs> Give it a try. Yeah. Um, okay, so we have we passed the Marvel game. Uh-huh. We did the little tangent on the dubs and the subs, <laughs> and we get to the bridge. <laughs> Now the bridge is what like a, I think they have like steps, right? It's not like a full on bridge. They have like right, like uh, glass steps, and one. What is it like? Every step you take, or every jump you take to cross the bridge, either has you have to choose between left or right, and it could have a, uh, basically like a normal normal glass, yeah, like, like single glass. panel, mm-hmm. and then like a tampered. Uh, yeah. glass that won't break like it can hold up to two people yeah. i think that's how they describe it. yeah prior to the beginning of the game is where they give them a choice basically oh, to choose numbers one through 16 but obviously they don't know what these numbers mean so 
yeah. they tell them like, okay, choose. And this is when some players kind of like start, you know, strategizing and it's kind of like a mind fuck for some, you know, like, okay, if I, should I go first? But what if it's, you know, if I go first and the what, game What would ends you have up, you know, picked? No, I mean, not, not that I, you know, but not, I would yeah. I, I wouldn't have picked one. I, I did think kind of like, I, I was definitely, I, I wouldn't have picked one. I was like, fuck that. I would pick either something in the middle or towards the end. Because you know how uh, Saki Hun, like mm -hmm. he's leaning towards like getting like one, but then he starts thinking like, oh no, but what about like if the game, it's you know, has game. an advantage if you pick the last one and whatever, he's like overthinking. Yeah, like I kind of like thought somewhat along those lines yeah but like my initial instinct i was like i'm not picking middle. one fuck it like middle or that yeah like somewhere in the middle is probably like kind of like the safest i don't know i, I yeah I, I agree i would have picked middle i even though like in the game when you were in the middle you were you still like been kind of fucked but definitely way better than the, the number the one number one number one you're completely screwed that number one scene because he literally begs to get that number one spot oh that's right, right. And he turns <laughs> around and looks at him. He goes like, what? right? Yeah. <laughs> like, I just feel bad for the guy. Like, he's, I think, you know, just on the look, he's not even, like, saying it with words, but he's telling him, like, do you still want to switch? Because <laughs> I, I really fucked this yeah. one up. And he's like, I want a second chance at life. At life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that, that, that game is, is pretty cool, too. I mean, it's kind of, yeah. it's a mind fuck. And then it's funny how the order technically doesn't matter. You have to pay attention to the way they explain their rules because they basically said, oh, that's the way you're going to start. But they don't say that, that you have to finish and Or like move in that order. Necessarily. Yeah, that, that's how you see the bad guy go like, well, I'm not moving. If yeah, you want to like, do that, it. Like move. Yeah. And I guess, yeah, like if everyone gets together, I guess there is a way that everyone could have survived. Cross. Yeah. My idea was <laughs> this is how... You and I could have survived that game. If one of us is holding to the other person and the other person puts a lot of weight or even just bangs the glass in mm -hmm. front of you, it can eliminate that glass from being the, the, the normal glass. Because it's not so much the weight that breaks it, it's the impact that would break the glass. So just you mm -hmm. bang, like, you know, just somebody holding you and you slamming the glass in front of you, that would have eliminated the, the glass. And you know they're within distance because when they... You see, the engineer in me just overthinks all this stuff. But when they're tipped, they I think there's a moment where, like, somebody just pushes yeah. that person. They don't even jump. Is They just lean forward, and they and smash that, the yeah, glass. Yeah, that's So true. you could definitely reach it and have somebody hold you, and it just has to be somebody that you trust. And <laughs> Or what if you go on the sides? I guess I'd never... The glass on the rails, like on yeah. rails, right? Yeah. What if you just said, fucking jump on the rails? Maybe if you do that, you get eliminated. You get shot. You or get something. shot. Well, I don't know. They they do. You, you, we did see that on on some of the games where like they saw people taking advantage of you know like they found like a workaround and they end up like saying like no let's change the rules. I think this one uh, on the bridge you saw it more because uh, well first is the guy that thinks that knows that the color of the glass is oh, different. Yeah. And that's how you can tell, and it's like like yeah, <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> but mistake. there's the the other dude that does know. Yeah. Because he worked like in a glass manufacturing or whatever the fuck. Yeah. And and, and then they're like, oh, fuck that. Like he's basing it <laughs> off on the, the reflection. Light. Shut down the light. <laughs> yeah, that's true. What was the most funny is that, the, you know, the guy basically says there's only two ways to really determine if the glass is tampered. And it's through uh, the reflection in the mm -hmm. glass and the sound of it. Right. And then, you know, he, the first one is like, oh, yeah, I think because of the lights or whatever is this one. Then they shut down the lights. Goes into the next panel, so like, whoa, I still have the sound. Hey, how about that marble that you have? He throws a marble and goes like, you don't have another one? Because I need to compare. Yeah, that's right. It's like, <laughs> At that point, it's like, well, no, buddy. Like, you're out of luck. Do you think they plan for the... So, because once they cross, right? At this point, the people, the only people that cross is three players, which is uh, Sai, the, the girl. Sai Byo. And uh, the broker. Sang and the main and guy. And Sha Sai Wu. Yeah. Yeah. So those are the three that make it. And then they start shooting at all the glass because the time runs out. Basically, I think when he jumps, I think the time runs out. Yeah. They start shooting all the glass. Did you think that was intended? Like, I mean, I know the movie, they probably intended to hurt the girl to eliminate, you know, three players into the squid game. 
But in, in the mindset of the movie, was that intended for somebody to get hurt? I, again, I didn't make much of it. I was just like, oh, shit, wait, wait. It is what it, it happened. Oh man, you're gonna make me say it again because every Tuesday. I mean, they just exploded. You know, the <laughs> to pieces. It just but, happened. Okay. The, the shard a, of would glass. Would tempered glass really shatter that way? Because I thought that was the whole thing of tempered glass. It won't shatter the the way that normal glass uh, like. Shatters. But I mean, I'm sure it does if you're exploding it or something. A bullet. I mean, they're shooting at it, know. right? It's it's like bullets. are they shooting? Yeah, thought, they're shooting bullets. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, so yeah see, I, didn't even think of, I thought I they want were, my money back. They were just exploding. <laughs> yeah, no. My cell phone tempered glass shatters like, <laughs> but it sticks together. <laughs> it's like the uh, it's like the cyber truck, you know, when they smash the the window of the of the tempered glass with the ball. No, you never no, saw that. I've never seen that. Oh my god, dude, are you serious? It's like no, I haven't seen it. Elon Musk when he's showing the cyber truck. Uh, you know, because it's like tempered uh, glass windows mm -hmm. or bulletproof windows or whatever. So this is the first time they're showing the, the Cybertruck, uh -huh. uh, like on display. They literally first, I think they hit it with a hammer. It doesn't break. And then they throw a steel ball to the glass and the glass actually breaks when it's not supposed to break. Oh, so, yeah. and then they made that Awkward. into a shirt <laughs> and they're like, well, at least it didn't go through. Right. So technically it did work, but that's what the, the, the glass is uh, supposed okay. to, to break. By the way, if you guys are listening to us on, on, we do have the episodes on Anchor. Anchor is just the the audio, but you know, if you tune into the YouTube version, you'll see all the pictures and some of the stuff that we're talking about. So it's a little bit more interactive. Also, you get to see our beautiful, oh, one beautiful face. That's uh, right. I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh my. <laughs> so that's no not way. supposed to break, and he's like, shit. And then he looks no at the way. window. <laughs> Armored glass. And you go and you see Elon Musk going like, how did that happen? Throw it to the other one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the, that okay. must have been awkward. So that's armored glass, right? So it's that's how the tempered glass should have you know broken. Like it doesn't really break, it just cracks. Mm. Look at that. Okay, so here. There's no explosives. I Hold mean, on. do not <laughs> question my authority. See, it's just exploding. You don't see them shooting. No, you're not hearing it, but they're shooting at it. You hear the. T -t 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 -t. I don't know. I guess it was. Whatever. An, I'm an, overthinking this. An but... accident. By the way, I think they spent a little too much in the slow mo here. Like, I was trying yeah. to think. I was like, yeah, okay, yeah. where are you going with this? Yeah, that's true. I, I thought it was. <laughs> it's like a, the Matrix a, kind of it all too, <laughs> like that. Like I'm like, where are they going? Yeah, where like okay, I see yeah. that you have really good control of slow motion, and everybody's getting cuts here and there. But I mean, to yeah, make... like the whole cutting and stuff. Like I guess, you know, it it ended up in the in in Cybio being injured, but it was kind of like weird. Yeah, I think they just kind of, they, they went like, how can we make it so that way there's only two people at the end of the game? And they they just, they rushed it. They, yeah. They just should have played a different but, game. Or by something. the way, by rush, the, it took the, the guy, I think, like 15 years to come up with the movie, but yeah, he rushed. He it. rushed. <laughs> they should have thought of, a, of a, an additional game. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I think they should have, or maybe she should have just like called it quits or something. I think they could have worked something else on it. Thanks, Squid Game. Talk about Squid Game. The final game, which the final game, the Squid Game, I had forgotten all the rules oh, by yeah. the time the game came up. And That's I was like, true. hopefully they explain it one more time, which they do. But Vaguely. Vaguely, yeah. But it, it is still confusing, huh? You almost need like a graphic. I know they had the kids play at the beginning of the first episode. Yeah. But, you do, but it, it's still, it's kind of, I don't know. To, to me, it's still not 100% clear. I'm not going to play Squid Game. How? <laughs> That's we what should, you really we want. should play it. <laughs> Cisco, you want to play Squid Games? Let's do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, overall, it was a good movie. Um, I, I, You know what? I thought it was going to be, like, gorier. Like, more gruesome. Or Saw. Yeah, because, yeah, because that's kind of like how everyone was saying it was. It was like, oh, like, Saw meets Hunger Games. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I was like, no, there's nothing of Saw. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, kind of. Okay. But, but not, they're not, they're just getting shot or like falling. Yeah. No one's getting tortured. It, I think the only torture Saw it like scene is basically when they're looking for the money and they make you think that they're about to like stab him in the eye to get the money back. Okay. After the races. That they're chasing him to like, hey, where's my oh, money? Oh, but he's not even in the game. Like, he's outside in the world. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not even in the game. But that's like, that gave you the hint that the movie, the the series could be like that gory, you know, into like, oh, like we're going to like st- st- stick like a nice picker into yeah. your eye and poke it out. Or Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. And I, I, you know, sure. Again, but the way people were like saying, oh, saw me turning around, I'm like, nah. I can see the Hunger Games type of stuff. I don't really see Saw. It's like a suspense, more more kind of movie. Suspense. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's a horror movie per se. Like when I watch, like uh, like the first, you know, the first game they played, I was like, oh my god, like what are they gonna do? do and they next. just they just shoot them. I'm like, shooting. that's it. Like, I thought. Oh, sorry. No, like is... <laughs> fucking walls. You know, get closer and closing in and, like, smash them. And I don't know. Like, I don't know. I just thought it would be more creative. (laughs) I want my... This is America. (laughs) We didn't just shoot people. We have to be... (laughs) Man, isn't, like, the world twisted enough that you have to go... (laughs) Or, like, they wake up and, you know, have something inside their stomach. And they're... Yeah. And someone has to take it out, or you know, like that's when I what like I imagine. Fe- so you want like Fear Factor meets <laughs> Saw meets Hunger <laughs> Games, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> You're asking for too much. <laughs> I mean, we have reached at that point where, like, if it's not that, if it's not Game of Thrones complex or like yeah, that guess, complexity, yeah. it's not. It's like not if too a- yeah, if anything, Game of Thrones gives you more of a Saw. Oh, dude, uh, you know, vibe yeah. than Squid Game. Yeah, does. So yeah. whoever said that hasn't watched Game of Thrones. Or Saw. Or Saw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know what they're talking about. Tune into this show. That This is where we, we call it. How we'll, it is. we'll give out ideas. Yeah. We should play the Mexican squid game. Is with, that the flipping with Mexican, tortillas? With Mexican <laughs> children's game. Oh. <laughs> Have you seen that on TikTok? That, there's a thing. Oh, there is. Oh, damn it. They beat me today. <laughs> Yeah, you're yeah, not. Come it. on, dude. You have to get ahead of the hook. Right. Last one, but you know, it's funny on, on TikTok they are mentioning the whole uh, the go no go, the green light, red light, uh-huh. but they're playing with tortillas, so they play the song. And if you're, you know, the tortillas are <laughs> nice. in the pan, uh-huh. so they're hot. And if you get a red light, you're supposed to hold the tortilla in your hand. Oh shit! So, <laughs> it's that like saw. That... <laughs> saw meets El Chavo del Ocho. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Okay, I think that's a wrap for this episode because this, this is good. we're going to go into a bigger tangent now. All right, well, thanks for joining us. Tune in next time. See ya. See ya. Bye. No, no, you don't say bye bye. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>